network millionaires believe it's possible for anyone to do what they've done, but it'll take hard work. If you want to take a step closer to that goal, then take a lesson from the Millionaire Playbook and make these three things a priority this week. Number one, get up early. Don't miss what might be the most productive hours of the day. Turn off the TV, shut down social media, get to bed at a reasonable hour, and set your alarm. Try getting up one hour earlier for a few weeks without cutting your sleep short and see what you can accomplish with that extra hour of productivity. Number two, read a book. Find a book, class, podcast, or online training that can make an immediate impact on how well you do your job. Get up every day with a goal to learn one new thing that you can apply to your work. That'll be 365 improvements per year. Number three, get moving. It blows me away how people will pamper a car but trash their own bodies. Listen, you get one and only one body for your entire life. Your body is a finely tuned machine, so don't fuel it with garbage and leave it parked on the couch all day. You don't have to run a marathon. A simple 20-minute walk after lunch every day can make a huge difference. Just get up and do something. If you attack every day this way, you'll be on the right track. Make sure you hit the ground running every morning, knowing what you want to accomplish and ready to get the job done. Set a precedent for each day. Refuse to be denied. Shut down any obstacles or excuses that come your way. And don't let anyone, I mean anyone, get you sidetracked. Someone may come along and try to outsmart or outperform you, but you can make sure that no one will ever outwork you. Chapter 10. Stick to it. Millionaires are consistent. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. That sounds like one of those down-home, old-school pieces of advice we've heard from many of the millionaires in our study. But it's not. That sentiment is a little older, way older. Author Will Durant summed up 4th century wisdom from the great philosopher Aristotle in that one line, explaining that the secret to excellence is simply doing the same things over and over again. We have a word for that today, consistency. Consistency is the key that brings all these millionaire attributes together. You can take responsibility, you can be intentional, you can set goals, and you can work hard. But if you don't do these things repeatedly, year after year, decade after decade, then you'll never get the results you want. Your millionaire goals won't crash and burn, they'll just fizzle and sputter out. It's like taking your foot off the gas while you're driving down the highway. Your car won't blow up, but it will gradually coast to a complete stop. All the progress you've made to that point won't matter because you'll be sitting on the side of the road. You would have lost all your momentum, and once that happens, you may never get it back. Keep your momentum. Too often we act like consistency is a bad thing. We whine about being bored with the same thing all the time. We excuse our stupid decisions because variety is the spice of life. Listen, variety may spice up your social life, but it'll spoil your financial life. It's easy to ignore the powerful force oh of consistency because it often fades into the background. However, consistency builds momentum, and we like consistency. We like not having to map out and meticulously plan our daily drive to work. We like being around and trusting the same people we've known for 20 years. We like having our paychecks hit our bank accounts like clockwork twice a month. We like being able to count on our co-workers who have proven themselves in the past. You know what we don't like? When things get out of whack. When we expect one thing and get another. When variety pops up and slows down the momentum we've been building. Consistency may feel boring sometimes. But when something's working, why would you want to switch gears? Patience pays off. Millionaires don't change their plan midstream if it's working for them. And they don't stop halfway to the goal. As we saw earlier, our research found that 98% of millionaires finish what they start. They don't leave things undone. That's because becoming a net worth millionaire is more than a thought or hope. 
It goes beyond simply saying, I'd like to, or I wish I could. If you want to become one of America's millionaires, you've got to commit yourself to the long, hard work of getting there. You've got to commit to it deep, in the very core of your being, and it needs to guide your decisions and actions for the next 10, 20, or 30 years. You need to attack this goal the way that Herb and Joan did, a millionaire couple from South Carolina. Everyday Millionaires Herb and Joan are the picture of consistency, and their early retirement proves it. Herb grew up in a traditional middle-class family, and his father was intentional about teaching him how to work and save. As a boy, Herb sold bags of peanuts for a dime, and his dad showed him how to allocate part of his money to savings and part to spending. His dad often said, always give some money to your future. Don't give it all to your present. That simple lesson guided Herb's finances his entire life. Herb earned his business administration degree at the Citadel and then took a job at a large phone company. He stayed with that company for 30 years, which is something we often don't see anymore. During that time, Herb and Joan had a goal of financial independence. They had a clear picture of what life would look like when they weren't dependent on a full-time job for their income. And they talked about that goal often. To get there, they both maxed out their 401k plans and added in some other stock market investments. Herb said the 401k with his company's matching dollars was the easiest way to hit his millionaire goal, even though it took a few decades to do it. At age 52, the couple was able to declare their financial independence in the best way possible. After 30 years with the phone company, Herb realized his job wasn't fun anymore. That's just a fact of life for most working Americans. Too many people get up every morning and drive to a job they hate because they can't afford to lose the income. Not Herb. When he realized he wasn't having fun anymore, he checked his investments, saw that he and Joan had plenty of money to live on for the rest of their lives, and left his job. He took an early retirement at 52 because he could afford to. He and Joan were millionaires by then, and millionaires get to make those kinds of decisions. Looking back, the couple says their financial success comes down to four key factors. First, they said it took a commitment to a long-term goal. They knew from the start that it wouldn't happen fast, but they knew it would eventually happen. Second, they said it required discipline. They had opportunities to derail their plans every day. They needed discipline to stay on track. Third, they said their agreement as a couple was absolutely vital. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Fourth, the couple knew from the outset that their plan would require patience. They knew it would take a while to get to where they wanted to be. But today, retired in their 50s, and with a net worth of $2.9 million, they know it was worth it. We asked them why they thought most people failed to become millionaires. They didn't hesitate. Herb said it comes down to a lack of planning and self-control during his military training at the Citadel. Trying to become a millionaire by playing the lottery is a stupid plan, he said. Investing may not be sexy, but it's the best way to grow wealth. Better together. Herb and Joan's story highlights something important that we don't want to miss. Their goal was to get to the millionaire finish line together. A broken marriage would have been a failure for them, no matter what their finances looked like at retirement. This points to something we noted in a shocking majority of millionaires. Strong, healthy, long-lasting marriages. We found that 80% of billionaires are married, compared to 49% of the general population. More significantly, 63% of millionaires are in a first marriage, compared to only 38% of the general population. Finally, only 5% of millionaires report being currently divorced, compared to 19% of the general population. So the general population has four times the divorce rate than that of millionaires. These successful millionaires demonstrate consistency not just in their finances, but also in their marriages and relationships, as 75% of married millionaires have been married for 32 years on average. This means most of these couples built their wealth year after year together. The result of working side by side for so long toward a common goal is apparently important for marriage too, 
as an overwhelming 91% of millionaires say their marriage is either good or great. And if you're wondering where they learned us, the answer probably won't surprise you. Their parents. Our research revealed that 88% of millionaires come from families who had stayed married, compared to 72% of the general population. Let's flip that around and see it the other way. We're saying that 12% of millionaires had divorced parents, compared to 28% of the general population. That means a child from a committed, consistent household is more than twice as likely to become a millionaire. These numbers demonstrate something I've learned from all the millionaires I've known, talked to, and worked with. A millionaire mindset isn't just about money. The money is important, but it's not the most important thing, not by a long shot. A successful life is about character, commitment, responsibility, intentionality, hard work, and goal setting in every area of life. These people don't want to be successful only in their finances. They want to have successful marriages and friendships. They want to be successful at work, knowing they're making a difference in the world. Simply put, they want to be successful in their lives. That's the power of consistency. They get a picture in their minds of what they want their lives, their whole lives to look like, and they do whatever it takes to accomplish that vision. Consistency requires patience and passion. It should be clear by now that consistency doesn't just happen on its own in any part of your life, but especially your finances. Consistency requires planning, preparation, patience, and passion. Patience and passion are extremely important here because those are the things that will keep you committed to your long-term goals for the long haul. If you have passion, then you'll find more ways to get the job done. As you see something working, you'll get more excited and more invested and you will go out of your way to find more ways to speed up the process. You have to keep the speeding up part in perspective though. Patience gives you the long-term view you need to stay focused throughout the years, to keep you from getting distracted by all the stupid things everyone around you is wasting money on. Like I said before, becoming a millionaire can't simply be an idea, a hope, or a dream. It has to become a way of life, something that drives your decisions for decades. Opportunity cost is opportunity lost. I've said before that 79% of millionaires use their company-sponsored retirement plans to reach the millionaire mark, making it the number one vehicle for wealth building. What we also learned is that 75% of millionaires make regular, consistent investing part of their ongoing personal finances. That means these people have chosen to say no to whatever flashy thing screams for their attention on any given day and they've remained focused on their ongoing march toward financial independence. They, like Herb earlier in this chapter, have chosen to give their money to the future instead of giving it all to the present. That's what adults do. They can choose to say no to impulse for the sake of longer term goals. Children do the opposite. Children are slaves to their desire, only focusing on the fun they can have today. We all have that battle raging within. We each have an adult and a child inside of us, but we can't let the child make our financial decisions. Kids aren't consistent. They're impulsive. When you throw your investing strategy out of the window just to buy a new car or to choose to spend this month's investing dollars on a new TV instead, you're acting like a child. And if that goes on too long, you'll hit retirement having only what children have, big dreams and empty pockets. Make money while you sleep. You need to approach retirement the way Gary, a retired educator from Iowa, did. Everyday Millionaires Gary and his wife Susan have done an incredible job amassing a net worth far above the $1 million mark. But it didn't happen overnight. Gary grew up dirt poor. His parents were still teenagers when Gary was born, and his father worked several different farm jobs during Gary's early childhood. They eventually moved on to a rental farm when Gary was six years old, and his parents put him to work immediately. By age nine, he was working full-time on a farm when he wasn't in school. The family never had any money. They had eggs every day for breakfast and lunch from the chickens on the farm. 
And Gary even remembers his mother cooking up a pot of weeds from the garden one night when a drought had knocked out all their vegetables. Despite these rough times, the family stuck together and made it work. Even today, Gary looks back on his parents as two of his greatest millionaire influences. He and Susan married at age 19, and Gary attended a local college, a first for his family. Afterward, he took a teaching position, and the couple started a family. Raising kids put a spotlight on his low teaching salary, though. It dawned on him that he couldn't even afford to save up for his children's college education, so he started looking for ways to boost his income. Ultimately, Gary decided to return to school and get a master's degree, which would increase his teacher's pay. If you're going to be there teaching the same number of hours, you might as well get the most money you can per hour. Susan also added to the family income by going to school for an education degree and becoming a teacher herself. In all, Gary spent 20 years teaching, followed by another nine years in school administration. Then after his retirement, he spent another five years teaching part-time at a nearby college. Throughout his and Susan's careers, the couple saved consistently month after month. They lived frugally and weren't afraid to make short-term sacrifices for long-term gains. Gary believes the main thing that keeps people from becoming millionaires is failing to understand what they could do with just a little bit of sacrifice. In fact, this couple didn't even buy their first home until they had saved up enough to pay cash, something that took a while on their teacher's salaries. Over several decades, they took advantage of the available pensions and invested regularly into an IRA. They also set goals throughout their marriage to buy tracts of ranch land as an investment. Their first goal was to purchase 320 acres of grass. When they hit that goal, they set a new one. When they hit that new goal, they did it again, and again, and again. Today, Gary and Susan own 5,400 acres of land in Iowa, which they rent out to farmers. That not only provides a steady stream of passive rental income, but also, along with their other investments, contributes to their incredible $10 million net worth today. Gary set these goals based on these wise words from his father. You'll never get ahead unless you find a way to make money while you're sleeping. Making money while you're asleep is one of the key strategies millionaires use to build wealth. But that only happens when you make a plan and work toward it consistently over time. So let's dig in to better understand how these men and women wake up wealthier than when they went to bed. It starts by understanding compound interest. Understanding compound interest. Albert Einstein is thought to have said compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. Compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. What makes compound interest so unbelievably powerful? Time. Investing early and consistently over a long period of time allows you to take advantage of the two most powerful forces in all of finance, time and compound interest. When you put money into an investment and let it sit a while, your money grows from the interest you earn. If you put $1,000 in originally, you might have $1,100 a year later. That extra $100 is the result of interest you earned. What happens in the second year? Well, now you aren't earning interest on $1,000. You're earning interest on $1,100. So that money that grew from interest in the first year is now earning interest itself. That's what compounding means. It's when your interest earns interest. Your money is basically creating more money. And it keeps doing that on its own. Morning, noon, and night. The effect that time and compound interest have on your money is mind-blowing. Let me put it in perspective for you. What if I offered you a choice? You can have $1 million in cash right now and walk away. Or you can have one penny right now. If you choose the penny, you can come back tomorrow and I'll double it, leaving you with two pennies. Then I'll double it again the next day, bringing your grand total to four cents after three days. Now, I'll keep doubling it every day for a month 31 days in all. Which of these two choices sounds like the better deal? 
most people would take the one million dollars and run away laughing. Who would choose pennies over a cool million? Here's the thing though, those pennies keep doubling. After a week, you'd have $1.27, which doesn't sound great. After two weeks, you'd be up to $163.83. After three weeks, things would start to get interesting. Your $163.83 would have jumped up to $20,971.51. One week later, at day 28, you'd be up to $2,684,354.55. You're a multi-millionaire. But get this, three days later, at the end of the month, the penny you started with would now be worth $21,474,836.47. You'd have more than $21 million. 21 times what you would have had if you'd chosen the $1 million on day one. The only thing that it cost you was a little time. Sure, this is an exaggerated example. You're not going to find any investment that doubles your money every day forever. However, this illustration does show the unbelievable power of time and compound interest on your money. The point here is that people too often make decisions with a short-term view. They're too quick to choose the immediate thrill over the long-term goal. Remember, that's what children do. That's the kind of short-sighted thinking that will keep you living paycheck to paycheck for the rest of your life.